Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. I hope you enjoyed my review of Juggernaut, which you can catch on my channel. Today, I'm going to, I pick, I showed you another picture, or another figure, sorry, in that review. And today, I'm going to do that. It's the 80th, 80 years, Marvel 80 years legend series, Alex Ross inspired Iron Man. And having a quick look at it there, it looks a beautiful figure. And even to look at the box, box, the new boxes compared to the old Legends boxes, it's just, it looks beautiful. You don't want to even take it out of the box. But I am going to do it for this review. Um, so yeah, even just a quick look at the uh, the artwork there is absolutely astonishing. Um, we'll have a look at it in better detail once we head on over here. So here we are. Um, just to look at the box before I open it, you can have a look there and you can see there's so two blast effects, two rocket effects. I'd say these are for, um, if you have a flight stand. You have a second helmet. You have the old classic Tony Stark, which I really like. And down here, just at the bottom, you can see an extra fist as well. I'm not sure if there's one or two in there, but we'll soon find out. Um, of course, Iron Man, warning, age, Hasbro, etc. Marvel, 80 years. If you look at that, there's some cool like comic, comic panels in there. Really nice. Uh, Legend series. Of course, you can get a better look at the heads there as well. And the actual figure. On the, right, on the back side. There's some nice uh, Alex Ross inspired, inspired artwork back there. And on the back, there is even more. Looks awesome. He's ripping open something there and there's a, quite a bit of writing here as well genius industrialist and inventor tony star creates a suit of armor for himself powered by the arc reactor in his chest becoming the hero iron man and you have it all in the different languages and stuff there on the bottom we've got the barcode and all that stuff so let's open him shall we let me just give a little cut on the top there Again, it's a lovely box. Looks great in the box, so it's a shame to actually have to do this. If I was a rich man, I would buy a second one just to keep in box, but I'm not, so we'd leave it there. And like, just like I said, there is a second one that you couldn't see. So, feel-wise, it's all already better than the one that was in the Iron Man 3 line, which was quite skinny and quite more yellowy. This one is definitely more gold to it. Let me just remove some of the bits he came with. Okay, so that's the box out of the way. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so accessories. He comes with two of these, which have pegs on the back. So you can either put them here, like so, or if you want, on the feet. If you have a flight stand, you can have them taken off like so. And they're really cool. Or he comes with two of these. Again, you can put the same job here. No, don't really fit. Okay, these ones are more for the feet, I think. And my one's a bit a bit fucked, I don't know why. This one is better. So I've got one of these and one dud. Yeah, so <laughs> that's disappointing, Hasbro. So, he also comes with a second reactor hand and a second fist. So, I like, quite like the, the one of each at the moment that he started out with. Uh, he comes with two heads. This one, which is quite, 
has a bit of a more more of a nose to it than the one on it whereas this is more flat this is earlier i think and he's got this cool head as well which kind of reminds me of timothy dalton for some reason let's get it off hold on you just pop that off right there And that is 100% classic Tony Stark, if ever there was one. This is as far removed from Robert Downey Jr. as you're going to get. Which is a good thing, sometimes. Because the MCU, people that only watch the MCU forget that there was a whole history of comics before the MCU. So, with that head on, let's do some articulation. Head goes way up. Goes nicely down as well. Does the whole 360, which is always good. Side to side a little bit. Shoulders go way high. Of course, he's got a bicep swivel. Whoop. He's got double jointed elbows. Which go in this much. He's also got rotatable fists. They go down, they go up. There is no ball. He's got ab crunch, which goes that far down. This far back. Legs go out this far. And these things kind of get in the way, but you can move them. Move, they're movable a little bit. You've got the tie swivel. Ooh, we didn't have with Juggernaut. This one's kind of frozen. I don't want They're quite tight, actually. Goes up this far. Doesn't go back that far. Double jointed knees. His feet go back quite far as well. Here you can see the double jointed knees. He's got boot rotation. And of course rocker ankles. Which also go way down and way up. So um, I really like this figure. The consistency here is class like the bars here the bars here and the bars here really really nice some people will want a more yellowy gold iron man than the really really classic old style but i like this gold it's really it sticks out and if you want to compare him to a more modern iron man here i have the bleeding edge iron man Whoop. And to me, like, this old one is way... The old one was a lot skinnier. I don't have it. I sold it on. But the old one was a lot skinnier than this current one. And this current one knocks it out of the park for me. I'm really happy with this Tony Stark slash Iron Man. Um, just quick comparisons with other toy lines that I have hanging around. There's the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Who's Review you can catch on the channel. Here's a NECA... Alien Xenomorph, much, much taller. And here is Android Synthetic Human. Put your head up, boy. So he's a bit smaller. So, um, yeah, that's my uh, review for 80th, 80 years Iron Man. Very, very happy can't wait for my tour to arrive and having seen this i'm now wavering on whether to get the captain america as well although the captain america i have fits in quite well i think with tony oh here i'm here so what do you think should i stay with this captain america or get another this has been brian's action figures brian's action figure reviews please leave a like Leave a comment and tell me what you think. If you've got this figure, if not, I think you should get it because it's really nice. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.